Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God. This line is often used to introduce the communion portion of a worship service, and it comes from the opening verses of chapter 5 of the letter to the Ephesians. If we think for a moment about these marching orders, though, they actually raise the hairs on the back of our neck. They are very dangerous ones. To walk in love means to forgive, even when forgiveness isn't deserved. It means to be open and tender-hearted with one another, even when we have strong evidence to suggest that that might be a highly risky move. And ultimately, it means to be willing to give ourselves, even to give our lives for one another, even when that move isn't deserved. This is the way of Jesus. And it brings to mind a great scene from C.S. Lewis' Chronicles of Narnia, where one of the characters asks of Aslam, the lion who is the Jesus figure in the story, is he quite safe? And the response she gets is, oh no, of course he's not safe at all, but he is satisfying. And that is what the philosophers and theologians have had to say about Jesus over the centuries. He isn't safe, but he is satisfying. The way of Jesus is not tiptoeing safely through life. It's a highly risky set of moves, but it is the path that leads to satisfaction. It is the path that leads to eternal joys. And that is why it is the path that Jesus invites and encourages us to walk.